Hi, my name is John Hollabaugh, and in this video I want to talk about how I used uh, DMX output from my Pi to control my LOR light controllers. So, as you know, you can have these kind of controllers from Lightarama. This is one I got years ago. And I switched over to these little controllers here, USB to RS-485 output. That's all it is. And I want to talk about how I install these on the Pi so that we can use either one to control the Lightarama controllers. This is the USB RS-485 communication adapter from Lightarama. As you can see, it's $29.95 and uh, it comes with the cable. That's the one I started with and it certainly works. I bought these for $5 each. They're USB 2 to RS-45 serial adapters. Um, it has ground and A and B and that's all you need. You don't need anything else. Uh, you do need the ground wire so the only a two wire will not work. This is the Falcon Pie cap. I've used this in one show. I tried to use it this past Christmas, but I couldn't get it to work for some reason. This is the DMX output, which is a 45 uh, protocol, and it is $35. Since I couldn't get it to work, and it did work once, I'll uh, save it for another day to see if I can't fix it some other day on another Pi. Here's my setup with the Raspberry Pi. And right now it has a Pi cap on it set up for Lightarama. A little little 5 volt power supply here. And then here's my Lightarama controller. Of course nothing's plugged in. So the uh, red LED is only blinking. So I have my Lightarama 485 plugged in to my Pi, my Pi player, my Raspberry Pi. Of course, the it goes across this blue wire, and my Lightarama controller is blinking. So I need to set it, set the uh, Falcon player up to uh, recognize this Lightarama uh, USB port. Here is the Pi player connected up to my over the network. Uh, go over to input output setup, channel outputs, other, and here is the USB uh, TTY port. Select that, save it, restart the FPP daemon, and you'll see that the Lightarama LEDs on, which means that it has selected the right uh, USB port, is sending a message out to the lighter Rama controller, and it's all synced up. Now let's go over here and look at the oscilloscope. On the oscilloscope, you see a basically the heartbeat that is coming out of the communications from Pi player or from the Raspberry Pi and uh, it's about once a second or so and that's what that's the heartbeat that goes to all of the Lightarama controllers and if it goes away by unplugging this cable then the LED starts blinking again so as long as you got the LED as long as you got the communications going the lighter Rama recognizes it and says that I have heartbeat and I'm ready to, to receive commands. Here on the your output channels, again this is the channel outputs, other, you'll see the TTY AM0 which is this Falcon Pi cap. Again I can't get this to work so uh, we won't worry about it right now. So the next thing I want to do is shut the Pi player down, put in our other 485 adapter, reboot. Let's see if we can't make this other adapter work. I have the other adapter plugged in now. 
power back up. Here's the boot screen. Okay, we're up and booted. We come over here and we can see USB 0. And let's save that. Restart the FPP daemon. And sure enough, it is working. It's sending the message just like the other one the, from uh, Laterama and come over to the oscilloscope and there's the met there's the message coming across just have to trigger a little bit oh let's see here oh there it is and there it is So, in the end, you can either use the $35 Laterama, or you can use the $5 RS-45 adapter off of Amazon. In order to wire up the USB adapter, just take a regular Ethernet cord and cut the end off. This cord is wired as brown, brown-white, green, blue-white, blue, green-white, blue, green, orange, and orange-white. So the green is ground, and we'll take a look at the other end. Here's the USB adapter. Got green as ground, blue is A, blue-white is B. And that's all there is to it. This is John Hollabaugh. See you next time.